joining us are Aaron and John of the awesome Red Fang. How are you guys? Great. Awesome. Very good, very good. You guys played over here two years ago uh, with Macedon and also at Milhões de Festa. Do you have any recollections of Lisbon and Portugal? Uh, yeah, uh, the Macedon show was insane and that was the first time we'd ever been to Portugal. And um, I was there. Uh, oh, great, so you know, it was yeah, insane. I was too. <laughs> it was great. How, 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 uh, the such food a coincidence. was incredible. Remember the catering at that yeah, one? Monkfish? The, uh, the oh, man. And that's the first time I ever had Piri Piri sauce, and now I'm addicted. Really? Yep. Do you Can't find it better than Sriracha, for instance? It's different. Different. Ah. Different. different. Okay. I, I, I like hot sauces of all shapes and sizes, but um, but yeah, now I'm, I'm addicted to Piri Piri sauce. So thanks for that. Are you, thinking of, uh, are you thinking of possibly sending it over to the U.S. or something? Oh, I'm definitely taking some back with me, for sure. Whales and leeches, is there a, a, a relation between the whales and the leeches? Or is, just, is it just random or anything else? Well, they're both in the title of our album, yes. so there's a relation there. But no, I think they're just two kind of like creepy creatures that go well together, like chocolate and peanut butter. Uh -huh. I don't know. Have you ever tried a Whales and Leeches for dinner? No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Pickled leeches or something? No. <laughs> no. We did do some research to see if there's anywhere uh, that uh, that people actually eat leeches because we thought about you know why not? Uh -huh. But um, sure. what's the what was the answer? I don't remember uh, ever hearing. No one really. <laughs> no, no there's one. not a lot of uh, no nutritional, nutritional value, value, and they're oh. they're disgusting to eat, right. so there's no reason to. leeches you mentioned on the album, are they on the whales? Are they like whale leeches or something? No, they're just near the whales, I guess. Oh, okay. I think they're just hanging out. They're buddies. Okay. You know? Okay. Best way to be, I yeah. guess. Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's worse than that. In your videos, like Blood Like Cream, you have Fred Armisen. And then you have Ryan Posehn on wires. The friends of yours, John, these comedians. Didn't Fred pay us? It was like... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> With Brian, we really wanted... Uh, you know, to have a, a kick-ass comedian cameo, and he was gonna be in town doing some shows on the weekend that we were thinking about filming, uh -huh. so it just worked out, and he was nice Didn't enough to- Did you directly uh, message him on, on yeah, Twitter yeah. or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I just sent him a message. We had met him before, and we knew, he knew who we were. We were fans of his, and he's fans of ours, so, a fan of ours, so, uh, yeah, he was nice enough to do it. And then for Fred, I don't know how we got Fred. I think it was, I mean, they, yeah, I think Whitey got him. He's familiar with us. I mean, we, uh -huh. uh, my wife's band used to play with his band long ago. And, uh, and he filmed uh, the show in yeah, Portland, too. Yeah, in Portland. Okay. My kid was actually in his show uh -huh. in the very beginning. So uh, there's sort of like a mutual familiarity. Okay. And so uh, He's not living he was, there now, is he? Like, no, he lives in Portland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he bought an apartment like right when Portlandia started. It's a puzzle that we figure out Take the hate and you spread it out Take what's left and you let it in Blood What's it like living in Portland now? Like, is it the place to be right now in the U.S.? More than, for instance, San Francisco or New York? I don't think it's very cool and no one should move it's there. It's really lame. It's super lame. It used to be cool maybe like 50 years ago, but no, it's gotten awful. It's a horrible place. Don't go there. So already it's beyond its time. Yeah. Yeah. It's past its time. I mean. It would never had a time. It's great, but we're at capacity. Yeah. So um, it's like yeah, this show is sold out. You can't fit any more people in there. It's going to just get really gross and uncomfortable if you put put more people there. So, so uh, it's familiar, this uh, tonight's uh, situation, then, for Portlanders. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Portland is like a, a, a sold out, sweaty rock show yeah. okay. all the time. That's why it's so wet there. It's awesome, but you don't want to put anybody else cramming themselves in there. Sure, sure, sure. Thinking um, of some other things where that wouldn't be so good. <laughs> Um, and I'm glad I have a beard right now so I can do this. Exactly. You 
guys have played uh, with the Dylan Joe's K-Plan and Mastodon and Orange Goblin, like all awesome bands. Uh, are you guys kind of forming like this clan of awesome, pretty much? Yeah, I mean, we only like to play with awesome bands, so yeah. we do it as much as possible. True. We, we try to only play with awesome bands. And um, more often than not, almost every time, they end up being super rad people, and we remain friends with them after we play with them. So, yeah. Looking forward to seeing the Orange Goblin guys pretty soon on the next leg of this tour in uh, London. And uh, we just saw the Mastodon guys when we were touring in uh, the U.S. There's a ton of bands. Yeah, so Kylesa, Valiant Thor, Black Tusk, Clutch, Cancer Bats, Cancer Bats, Helms Elite, Dog Shredder. Oh no, no, sorry, Wild, Wild Throne, Throne. Um, Gatheist, Caius Lives. Yeah, I don't know all the bands that we've toured with. Yeah, yeah basically the, everybody that we've toured with. I can list them all. What about Red Fang? Is it particular to any um, animal, and you know, uh, like a wolf or something? With the name Red yeah. Fang? No, it doesn't have anything to do with anything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just. Uh, it's the, the one of the many band names that we thought of, and it's the one that everyone hated the least. Oh. So we were like, well, we need a name. No one hates that one. Fine. Which ones didn't make the cut? Oh, that's... that's I that can't remember. Long gone. Long gone. That was so long ago. I can't either. Well, maybe the first Trench Wolf was one. Oh, yeah. Trench, Trench Wolf, Panda. which we actually... Oh, yeah, Panda. Panda. We Panda. used Panda for one show, but Trench Wolf we gave away. I think some yeah, other think band called it. we gave it to another band. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Trench Wolf. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> so it's my thing, but whatever. Yep. I remember Pavement naming uh, Terror Twilight, and they had this name uh, they dropped, obviously, because it was Egg Recordy. Like the worst name I think I ever heard. That's not so good. <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't it's make any sense at all, and it doesn't roll off the tongue or anything. Malcolm is living in Portland now, actually. Okay, yep. uh, yeah. yeah, he is. That's true. Although, well, is he back in Portland? He moved to Berlin for a while. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, he okay. lived in Portland for a good, I don't know, eight years or something. I used to do trivia with him at a local bar okay oh, uh, but uh yeah he and he his good? family yeah he's very smart oh. he has a degree in history oh yeah um uh but yeah i think that his family moved to berlin i don't maybe they've come back since then but i'm not sure i don't know, I don't know. Uh, I no but uh, <laughs> you have no idea because you guys you we my were wife's friends with them also my wife's friends with everybody oh really uh, ex yeah exactly because yeah. uh, uh good things come from marriages <laughs> yep, uh, yes that's true <laughs>